Good morning students and welcome to our YouTube channel Gnan Manjari Modern School. So, in the previous video, we have just completed the chapter number 5 that is food and nutrition. So, in the previous video, we have seen the malnutrition and deficiency diseases, then after energy from the food, then after food habitats and some of the etiquette of it that is healthy food habits. So let us first of all read it again and then after we will just move further to the exercise that is malnutrition is poor nutrition or undernutrition. It means body is not getting enough nutrition to grow and to maintain itself. It is rare in the western or developed countries but common in developing countries. Taking too little of proteins and vitamins can lead to malnutrition. Child suffering from malnutrition has skinny bodies and bloated bellies. Lack of specific nutrition in food results in a particular disease. Lack of proteins in childhood may stunt growth or causes diseases such as Kosher or Marasomus. When children get this diseases, they fail to grow properly and have swollen stomach and ankles. Lack of carbon dioxide, carbohydrates may lead to loss of weight. Okay, that is why those who want to lose weight avoid carbohydrates and fats. Here, lack of vitamins lead to different health problems. Lack of vitamin A may lead to night blindness. Lack of vitamin B1 causes beriberi. Lack of vitamin C causes fury and bleeding gums and lack of vitamin D causes rigs where the legs cannot support the weight of the body and get bent or bold leg. Lack of iodine causes goitre. Lack of calcium makes the bone brittle so they tend, that they tend to break easily. So this is all about the malnutrition and deficiency disease we have seen in the previous video here energy from the food here the food we eat gives us energy this energy is measured in calories one gram of sugar has more calories than one gram of vegetables here in the food uh, food from the sorry energy from the food these the energy which we get from the food it is measured in the calories okay so here one gram of sugar has more calories than one gram of vegetables one gram of butter has more calories than one gram of sugar so to some extent we can change our food requirement according to the calories we need an athletic or a long distance runner need more energy so the more calorie then a person who works does not require much physical effort means the athletics which is that they require more energy for that they so they have to eat the more calories diet okay so food habits that is food habits differ from region to region early people eat what grew locally in that area however most things are widely available across regions nowadays because of quick and efficient means of transport, growing children need of enough quality of all nutrition in their food. So, sprouted beans and dals are very nutritious and are well, very good source of proteins for vegetab vegetarians. Whole wheat or brown bread is more nutritious than the white bread made with maida. Hand powdered brown rice is more nutrition than the polished rice, white rice that we usually eat. A home cooked meal has all the requirement nutrients. It is more nutritious than a pizza or any other fast food. Fast food can be had once in a while, but it is better not to make a habit of it. Means we have to eat fast food, but in the limit okay in some of the extent or some of the limit we have to eat the fast food more we don't have to eat the fast food here healthy food habits that is to ensure that we get nutritious food we should follow healthy food habits that is many people boil rice in extra water and strain away the excess water 
they do the same with the vegetables vitamins and nutrition are lost when we do this use only the required amount of the water so here for the cooking we have to just just put the required amount of the water if we just take more water then the nutrition will go with the water okay which we just take it out from that so here second is many people cut the vegetable and then wash them but vitamins in vegetables are soluble soluble in water and they get washed away from cut vegetables away wash and always wash and then cut in the vegetables so first of all we have to wash all the vegetables and then after you have to cut the vegetables we don't have to first of all cut the vegetables and then after we have to wash the vegetables here overcooking should be avoided as it destroys vitamins and minerals present in the food means overcooking if we just overcook any of the food then what it will do it will just take down all the vitamins and minerals which are there inside the food then after eating snacks in between meals should be avoided in meals we don't have to eat the snacks then after avoid eating too many candies and chocolates it less to tooth decay here we have to just don't eat candies and the chocolates why because it just tooth decay then after avoid small things drink plenty of water we don't eat we don't have to drink the soft drinks instead of that we have to drink plenty of water fried food are not healthy too much oil is hard to digest also too much fat makes one overweight steamed food such as idli is better for the health than any fried food and the eighth one that is the oil used for frying should not be reused okay so here now moving towards the exercise okay students so here so here we can say that minerals are first one that is protective protective food then after b that is people doing physical labor need more dash proteins carbohydrates or vitamins so here in the second one it will be carbohydrates carbohydrates then our the third one that is malnutrition means dash nourishment that is good under and over so it is under nourishment so third one it will be under fourth one that is vitamins is a good for eyesight dash vitamins is a good source of eyesight that is vitamin a fourth one a then after dash is a healthy way of cooking food that is steaming frying or baking so here it is steaming so fifth one steaming then after question number 2 it is filling the blanks that is in that first one that is dash helps repair damage tissue so here we can say protein helps first one proteins help repair damage 
tissue then after lack of vitamins lead to dash and lack of carbohydrates to dash so here second one it will be sun growth and loss of weight third one that is lack of vitamin a leads to dash that is night blindness night blindness okay then fourth one that is lack of dash leads to battery that is iodine okay then after fifth one energy obtained from food is measured in dash that is calories so in that it will be calories okay so students please write down the answers and the question answers will be provided in the form of pdf of chapter number 4 and 5 together okay in after the today's video means on friday you will just receive the uh, question answers question chapter number 4 and 5 okay students you first write down this Okay, students. Now moving towards our new chapter, that is chapter number six. That is diseases. Okay. So first of all, students, what are diseases? Okay. So when we are unhealthy, means we are just not eating some of the healthy foods. There are some of the lack of nutrition and vitamins. Okay. minerals and that all due to that also some of the diseases are there and due to some of the viruses bacteria and then also we have some of the diseases okay so that is the disease let us here see introduction part a disease is a condition that upsets the proper functioning of one or more parts of the body or one of its part disease affects living thing including plants so here 
what is this is is first of all they have given a disease is this is is a condition that upsets the proper function proper functioning of one or more parts of the body or one of its part okay so this is this what this is is a condition that upsets the proper functioning of one or more parts of the body or one of its part so that is the disease we know that we don't feel good when there is some of the disease okay we don't feel good so here moving further that is human beings are affected by hundreds of different diseases each with its own set of symptoms the symptoms could be fever headache body pain and so on which enable the doctor to diagnose the disease patient can generally describe the symptoms doctor can also find the signs that the patient cannot describe okay like for example an enlarged liver that helps them in diagnosing the disease so here disease can be two types that is communicable and non communicable disease so here the diseases are further categorized into two parts okay so the first part that is communicable communicable diseases okay so what is the communicable diseases let us see so here communicable diseases if we just talk about that that is communicable diseases are those that spread that spread from one person one person to another another then after non communicable diseases this is this that is non communicable diseases diseases do not spread from one person
to another okay so we are talking about the disease first of all that is this is this is a condition that upsets the proper functioning of one or more parts of the body or one of its parts okay and communicable diseases that is communicable diseases are those that spread from one person to another and non communicable diseases that is non communicable diseases do not spread from one person to another okay here talking about the two types of the disease that is communicable diseases and non communicable diseases means communicable diseases means what the this is which spread from one person to the another person that is known as the communicable diseases means if i just give a live example of corona then we can say that corona is spread by man to man okay so that is the communicable diseases and non communicable diseases that is the uh, we can say that which do not spread through person to the person that is known as the non communicable diseases okay students now here moving further that is microbes okay so here what are the microbes that is infection are caused by microbes or micro organisms this are the small living things that can be seen only with the microscope microbes can be viruses for bacteria protozoa or fungi all microbes are not harmful these are microbes in the digest tract that helps break down food and thus helps in digestion some bacteria help turn milk into curds so here these if we just talk about the microbes then we can say that the microbes are also useful in for our the digestion how why because they just help in the digestion of the food okay that is so here here also they have given another example that is some bacteria is just convert milk into the curd okay so here it is given in a box that is an endemic is a sudden widespread occurrence of a communicable disease is a community in 1918 an epidemic of flu spread across the world killing 100 million people more than the number of people killed in the first world war so here it was in the 1918 now we can say that in 2019 it came again with the new name that is the corona in that thousand of millions just died okay so here communicable diseases let us see that first okay but before that if you want to just write down this then write down i'm just giving you some time Okay, students. Have you written down this? Now we are just moving toward the communicable diseases. So, 
any paper this is this. Okay, here viruses and bacteria causes many diseases which most of which are contagious contagious disease spread by direct contact so here first of all in the communicable diseases viruses and bacteria causes many diseases many diseases okay and most of which are contagious contagious so here con contagious disease is spread by direct contact so here contagious disease spread by direct contact okay here you can also catch the infection by staying in a room of sick person who sneezes or cough or maybe using the towel or drinking glass of the infected person smallpox one of the most contagious diseases was declared by the world health organization to have been eradicated in 1979 so here some contagious diseases are primary diseases of children such as mumps mills and chicken pox this are the childhood infectious diseases okay so this are the communicable diseases here talking about first of all what is the communicable diseases that is the diseases which are spread from one person to the another person that is known as the communicable diseases secondly in that it is given viruses and bacteria causes many diseases most of which are contagious okay so what are the contagious diseases that is contagious diseases spread by the direct contact okay so how they can be spread they can spread when a person is in the room and sick person when you just go to the sick person's room and when they just coughs or sneeze then if you just touch the uh, glass which drinking glass of that and if you touch him or her then also that it it can be spread to you okay so this is all about the communicable diseases okay students if you want to write this then you can write down and just give you some time okay students so for today's homework you just write down homework that is first of all what is this is then after 
types of dishes okay types of dishes okay that you have to write down in your homework and i will just send the pdf of question number question answers of chapter 4 and 5 okay with this video and we will meet in the next video okay bye students